My name is Diana Trujillo and I'm currently a mission lead for the Mission Perseverance at NASA JPL. I came to the U.S. when I was 17. I knew very little English, almost none, and I had $300 in my pocket. When I got here, I really didn't know exactly what I was going to do with my life. I just knew that you know, I needed to look for a better a place and a better life for me. And you know, I started to first learning English. I was very fortunate to have teachers and professors that came to me and mentioned that I was actually doing really well and that I should think about bigger things for myself. I was very scared of finding out that I wasn't smart. My teacher made me think that I could do bigger things and pursue maybe dreams that I had given up on. Uh, and lots of things happened in my life that allowed me to later on work at NASA on my second Mars mission. Really what led me to the universe is uh, the curiosity that I have with respect to wanting to understand how is it that everything looks so peaceful and has so much harmony, right? You, you look up at the sky, you look, look at the stars and everything just works perfect. But if you actually go a little bit farther, you're talking about giant planets going around the sun and they're all different. They all have figured out how to coexist. When we think about technology, every time we go to another, to another place, we have to develop new technology that will help us as humans live better, do better things. We're pushing the envelope for what we can do as humans to make our lives better and at the same time we're figuring out how to bring the best of people to achieve that goal. Sound confirmed. We're safe on Mars. I would love to go to space myself and so if it's on the cards for me and the door opens I will cross it when it comes. Latinas that want to get into science, for them, I will suggest that, you know, quiet down the world and slow it down for a second and think about what you want. What's the contribution that you as a human want to make? And then understanding enough to then go to the next level, which is let me go find some role models that are doing that and trace your map as to how you're going to get there. That gives me hope for what's coming and what's happening right now.